What's up everyone, Rob here with Ace Adventure Gear. Today we're hanging out with one of our local video builders, Eli Calloway. What's up guys? And we're going to be reviewing how to build a Z-Drag. Let's dive in. Alright, what you'll need for setting up a Z-Drag are a throw rope, two pulleys, three locking carabiners, two prussics, and a section of one inch tubular webbing. So, the first thing you have to do in a Z-Drag, of course, is get a throw rope or however you're planning on pulling the boat out, clip to the boat in some form or fashion, ideally around the grab handle. The next step in building a Z-Drag is setting up an anchor. Uh, for that, you will use that one inch piece of tubular webbing. Um, most of the time in a river setting, we'll be building anchors off of rocks, that type of stuff. So that one inch piece of tubular, I would recommend getting between 12 and 20 feet. Uh, Ranging, ranging on the closer to the 20 feet side, just so that you can sling a boulder, you can build an anchor however you need to. And as far as the knot goes, you can really tie whatever knot you're comfortable with. I prefer an overhand on a bite, um, but again, whatever works. So now that we've got our kayak clipped and our anchor set, we're gonna be building our Z-Drag. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is clip in your throw rope to your anchor. Uh, you can do this clipping directly to the carabiner or if you have a pulley, I uh, definitely recommend using a pulley. From there, what you're gonna wanna do is use one of your prussics. Uh, this will get attached to the working end of your line. So the line, the, the side of the throw rope that is actually attached to the kayak. And what this prussic is going to do is act as a break. It's referred to as your capture prussic, uh, and it is going to capture all the line that you have pulled in, prevent that from slipping back out, uh, prevent the boat from going downstream once it is free. And here's a quick close-up of how that anchor, uh, the pulley, the anchor system is going to work. So you can see it, it'll pull through when you have pressure, but if you let go, Now that we've got everything set up at the anchor, it's time to introduce the mechanical advantage part of the system. To do this, what you'll want to do is with your second prussic, go down anywhere, I would say five to six feet, down on the working end of your line. So the side of your throw rope that is attached to your kayak, raft, canoe, whatever. From there, what you're gonna do is Clip in your pulley. You could also, again, run your throw rep directly through a carabiner if all you had was a carabiner. Uh, and what this is gonna do is provide that three to one mechanical advantage. And again, here's a close up of what that uh, mechanical advantage into the system is gonna look like. So just a quick overview again on how to set up your Z-Drag. So you are clipped into the boat, you follow the working end of your line down, all the way down to your anchor. That's what your anchor setup will look like. So pulley, press a carabiner, all attached into the anchor. Follow your throw rope back down the working line and you will come to another Prusik pulley and carabiner. And that is gonna be the mechanical advantage part of your system. So now for a demonstration of the Z-Drag in action. it up on Z-Drags here from the team at Ace Adventure Gear. If you've got any questions on that, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, shoot us a message on social media. We're always happy to help. See you next time.